I'd like you to please all stand and have Dr. Kathy Belanger lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. If you could just stay standing for the national anthem. Sorry. Right now, we'd like to invite Reverend Andrew Stinson up for an invocation. It has been a joy to work with uh, some of the graduates uh, this last year, and it is an honor that uh, we might have the opportunity to, be, to pray over them. So I invite you to pray with me. Lord, you have made all things, and you know all things. We ask you this day to send your blessing upon our PA, and especially on this high day, these graduates and their families. Let them know the joy of accomplishment and the future wonder that you have in store for each one of them in the diplomas bestowed upon them today. As you have instilled in them a love of truth and good and the beautiful, let them become workers in the building of these things in their lives and in our city and in the wider world. Let your love and your wisdom be upon them as they celebrate in effort well given, in honors well earned, and you in all, and all the hosts of heaven that are rejoicing with them. We pray this in your name and the name of all that is holy. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Okay, everyone, you can sit. Okay, as I'd like to do the welcome, um, I'd like to welcome Honorable Mayor Paul Coogan, Madam Superintendent Maria Ponce, school committee members Mimi Larravee, Kevin Aguiar, Sarah Rodericks, Shelley Pereira, and Tom Corey, friends, family, and especially you, the graduates. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you to the Robert L. Medeiros Resiliency Preparatory Academy, class of 2024 graduation. Good evening, everyone. It's so nice to see all of you for this special occasion. Graduates, you have worked hard to get where you are today, and so have your parents and other family members. And then there are your teachers and all the adults in the building who have been pushing you harder than you wanted them to. There's been a lot of tears, fears, laughter, and love that have brought you to this point. Some days you loved us, some days you didn't, and you weren't afraid to let us know. But all the struggles and hard work have led us to this day. You have shown resiliency which is the capacity to withstand or to recover quickly from difficulties, 
a skill you will need to be successful in life. Remember, one chapter, this chapter, has ended. But your story is just beginning. Your diploma is the start of endless possibilities. I wish you love, luck, and joy on your journeys. Congratulations, and without further ado, we will continue the ceremony by asking Mayor Paul Coogan to address the audience. Well, uh, we've done a no we, we've done a thank you, Jeannie. Uh, we've done a number of graduations at Durfee, and it's always very special because these individuals tonight getting their diploma went across the stage with teamwork, parents, staff, and of course themselves. And the effort they put in to this year and all the years that preceded it are gonna lead to great things down the road. I want you to know the city of Fall River and the entire school committee wish you nothing but the best, happiness, success as you journey on to the next phases of your life. And I hope over the summer you have some good, clean, safe, fun. Thank you all, RPA and the students. He's a tall guy. Um, next, we'd like to invite Superintendent Ponce up to address the audience. Thank you, Mrs. Crumling. Good afternoon, everyone. Families, friends, Mayor Coogan, members of the school committee, Principal Riley, faculty, and staff. And most importantly, good afternoon to all of you, class of 2024. Congratulations to each of you and to your families, friends, and loved ones who supported you on this journey. It's an honor to be present here this afternoon, celebrating this very proud moment with all of you. You should be very proud of yourselves. You have made it. The road to, the, uh, to this day has been anything but easy for you, but you worked through the challenges and found a way to persevere through them. The fact that you are here is a powerful testament to your commitment to believing in yourselves and wanting more for yourselves. Be proud of your accomplishments, of your hard work. You've earned every single one of them. Your school name includes the word, the word resiliency. That was intentional because resiliency means the ability to withstand adversity and bounce back from difficult life events. You, my friends, are living examples of this definition. Your commitment and desire to get to the finish line speaks volumes. High school graduation is a culmination of many years of hard work and effort. And for you, class of 2024, the work was harder than most, and you've stayed the course. You power through like the champions that you are until the very end. Thank you for being persistent and resilient. This evening, you, the class of 2024, celebrate a milestone in your young lives, a milestone that marks the end of one chapter in your lives and the beginning of a new one. As you prepare to venture out into the world, I challenge you to never lose sight of your dreams, to continue to work hard, and to be good humans. Class of 2024, go forth confidently. Use the skills and the tools you've acquired through your years to empower yourselves to be successful and to make our community a better place. We are so very proud of you. Finally, I leave you with a quote from Arthur Ashe. Your time is now. Start where you are. Use what you have and do everything that you can. Congratulations, class of 2024. Thank you, Madam Superintendent. And now we'd like to welcome Principal Riley to come and address the graduates and their families. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Mayor Paul Coogan, school committee members, Superintendent Ponce, assistant superintendents, esteemed faculty, proud parents and guardians, and most importantly, the resilient graduates of Robert L. Medeiros Resiliency Preparatory Academy. Today, as we gather to celebrate this momentous occasion, 
I am filled with profound pride and admiration for each and every one of you. Graduation day is a culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. Yet for many of you, the journey to this point has been fraught with trials and tribulations that tested your resolve and resilience and tested our patience as well. I personally would like to thank every educator who has had a part in supporting these graduates that sit before us tonight. It is those pieces that you have shared that make us all whole. Growing up in the city of Fall River, you have faced unique challenges, from economic hardships to social inequities, but through it all, you have demonstrated an unwavering determination to succeed. You have refused to let adversity define you. Instead, you have embraced it as a catalyst for growth and transformation. In the face of setbacks and obstacles, you have shown remarkable resilience. You have picked yourselves up when you stumbled, and you have pressed on with courage and conviction. Your resilience is a testament to your strength of character and your ability to overcome even the most daunting challenges. We as a community lost a member of our family this school year. It was a traumatic event that touched us all and not something we should have ever faced. Colas Mills Good was a young man whose smile could light up a room. We cherish the time we were able to spend with you and may your light shine upon us as we move forward with this remembrance. If I could just take a moment of silence uh, to remember our classmate Colas. Thank you. As you stand on the brink of a new chapter in your lives, I urge you to carry the spirit of resilience with you wherever you go. The road ahead may be fraught with uncertainties and obstacles, but I have no doubt that you have the resilience to overcome whatever challenges may come your way. Remember, it's not the trial and tribulations that define us, but rather how we respond to them. So as you embark on this next phase of your journey, Embrace the challenges that lie ahead with courage and determination. Let your resilience be your guiding light, leading you towards a future filled with endless possibilities and opportunities. Congratulations, graduates. May your future be as bright as your spirits are resilient. Thank you. And now that we've heard from all of us, the most important speakers are about to come up. If Amy, Anais, and Adriana could join me on stage. to all graduates, faculties, and families. I am so proud of everyone sitting in front of me, and I know how hard you've all worked to get here. I can only imagine what everyone's been through. Recently, I've been reminiscing on the early years of high school, as I'm sure many of you have. I started with my own little plans, with my own little friends, but as I grew up, everything changed. I know it must be the same for everyone else, and to be honest, as sure as I was about the future, I was scared of the change, and I grew comfortable with the environment around me even the bad and toxic parts. It wasn't until I was at my lowest that I realized who was really there for me. And I also realized those plans that I had were not the plans that I needed. What I needed was change, the thing that I spent all of high school trying to avoid. I learned in order to grow, you need to change, whether that means cutting off toxic people, toxic environments, or bad habits. Do what you need to do to be the best version of yourself. Learn to move forward and prosper. Learn to not let anyone test your morals or your self-worth. Today is a testament to our hard work, dedication, and unwavering belief in ourselves. It is a reminder that anything is possible when we set our minds to it and pursue our dreams with passion and perseverance. As we stand on the brink of a new chapter in our lives, it's important to reflect on the journey that has brought us to this moment. Each of us has had challenges, triumphs, and countless of opportunities for growth along the way. And yet here we are, stronger and more formidable than ever. 
I can see each of you blooming right now as we move into the unknown. Let's carry with us lessons we learned from life or relationships we no longer have and cherish those memories you made because they made you. And to the teachers and other staff, keep doing what you're doing, pushing kids to be successful when they have no motivation, making sure that every kid has someone who cares. Thank you for everything. <laughs> I'd also like to thank my family. My mom, Judy, and my dad, Guillermo, have been through a lot with me. You guys only ever wanted to give me what you never had, and I see that now, so thank you. I love you. And finally, I'd like to dedicate this last part of my speech to my little sister, Noemi. I know how much you look up to me, and I'm doing this for you. And to every other little sibling here, enjoy high school and make the best of your time. Only you can make it the best years of your life. Also, hug your older brother or sister and tell them you're proud of them. Because if they're here for anything, like if they're anything like me, you're the reason why they're here right now, to make sure you have a good example. So congrats to the class of 2024 on starting the beginning of the rest of your life. Good evening, parents, teachers, students, staff, and graduating class of 2024. I would like to start by saying congratulations to us. It has been a very tough year for all of us individually, and I'm very proud of all of you, even if nobody else is. I'm also very honored to be standing here before all of you giving this speech. This is an accomplishment many of us may have been unsure of, including me, but, through, oh, but regardless, it's very bittersweet, and these moments are vibrant. In our years prior, we have gone through many obstructions that have made us feel like it's the end of the world, including COVID, losses of loved ones, and everything in between. Despite that, we have all thrived with resilience to our own unique tribulations, and from that, we should be the most proud. As we stand on the precipice of the future, unsure of what we will accomplish next, let us do it with gratitude, perseverance, and love. Because without these three things, I believe life is meaningless, so we should endeavor to make life meaningful. If I have learned anything from these past four years, it's that we have to learn to accept the world around us as we want it to accept us, and to be okay with the changes that can come, because I have also learned that the world will not stop for us, <laughs> unfortunately. So you should do everything in your power to help yourselves and, the and others in this new life that we are about to start. This experience was a lesson for me because dealing with school and becoming an adult is definitely not something I recommend, but something I had no choice but to do. I found myself, excuse me, I found myself, um, wow, I'm sorry. I found myself blaming the world for what was happening to me instead of taking everything in as a lesson sooner than later. I realize this fact, although I still have lots of growing to do, I am proud of who I am and what these four years have brought me. Go to school, graduate, get your own, because when it's all said and done, they can say whatever they want about you, but they cannot take it from you. Let us remember to stay true to ourselves and to embrace our individuality individuality and never lose sight of what's ours. And to the teachers and faculty members who have made an effort helping us in our journey, we thank you tremendously for all your unwavering support. You have created long-lasting memories and relationships that will last lifetimes. Your commitment to our success is the reason we are all here today. A few honorable mentions being Mr. Riley, Ms. Belanger, Ms. Crumbly, Mr. Kavit, Ms. Sunnison, Mr. Cabral, and Ms. Donnellan. A teacher affects eternity. He can never tell where his influence stops. A quote by Henry Adams that stuck with me. I would like to take the time to talk about the people who have helped me the most, that being my family. I'm extremely lucky for the amount of support I have received and continue to get, and I realize that not everyone is as fortunate as me. You have all done your best to give me good advice and that I could use and lectures that I could definitely learn from. And knowing it was all out of love makes it even more special. And thank you to my mother, simply thank you, because you're the biggest reason on why today was so special. You've always pushed me to do the best you have could and to be the amazing person I am today. And I hope, to someday, uh, I hope to someday be like you. I don't know if I'll ever get close. Hey, it's Anais. <laughs> Anyways. Hi, everyone, and good afternoon. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hi, everyone, and good afternoon. 
Thank you all for gathering here today to celebrate for the graduating class of 2024. I would like to start off by saying I am incredibly grateful for all the support and encouragement I have received from my teachers, family, friends, and friends, sorry, throughout my whole high school journey. It's been tough, but I'm here to say I made it. We all made it. Their belief in me has been a constant source of my motivation and inspiration. I would like to give a special thanks to my mom, my sisters, and Miss Casey. Sorry, give me a second. I have faced numerous of challenges along the way. I have also made many mistakes and many regrets, and I'm sure we all have, but we all made it through. With the guidance and support, I have been able to overcome my mistakes and grow academically and personally. I am truly thankful for the opportunities that have been provided to me. I will never forget where I came from and how I came up. I will never forget how much I've grown how much we've all grown, and how far we all actually really came. I'm proud of everyone sitting here in front of me today. I know that I would not be here today without the help of those who had stood by my side. And as I move forward into my next chapter of life, I, sorry, I plan to continue to show my gratitude by giving back and, to, oh, and supporting to others. Wait, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. This is so bad. Uh. <laughs> okay, I found it. As I move forward, wait. Okay, as I move forward <laughs> into my next chapter of life, I plan to continue to show my gratitude by giving back and supporting others in their own journeys. I believe in the power of education and the impatience, I'm sorry, in the importance, oh my freaking gosh, in the importance, <laughs> anyways, and I'm committed to inspiring others to reach their full potential as I was pushed to reach mine. I hope the class of 2024 can continue to showing students that successful is possible no matter what you may face. And for the souls who are not here with us today, I would like to give a moment of silence in honor of our peer, Colas Jamal Mills Good. We miss you dearly, and we are so proud of you. We send all our love up above to you. I hope the future brings love and peace to the streets of the city, this generation, and to those who need it. Thank you once again for all who came out to support. I am so incredibly grateful for everything that has been done for me. And as I look forward to making all of you proud, as I continue to learn and grow as a young woman, Congratulations to my fellow graduates, and may we all continue to strive for excellence in everything we do. Thank you. And once again, congratulations. That was great. Thank you, ladies. Very nice job. Could I please have Mr. Kavit come up? He is going to confer, be conferring the diplomas. And Mrs. Freelander. Good evening, everybody. We made it. We made it. I will first start off by saying I'm characteristically long-winded, but I promise you this evening I will not be. Good evening. First and foremost, I'd like to thank our graduates who are here this evening to experience a very important milestone in our lives. I would also like to thank the many dignitaries who have taken the time to share in our graduation. 
As we all know, we've spent enough time together to know that we laughed sometimes, we worked hard sometimes, we became frustrated sometimes. But through it all, we knew that there was a genuine regard for who we are as people. We stand here before you with a clear understanding that when you hit the ground running for the next chapter of your life, you will experience laughter, you will experience hard work, and unfortunately, you will experience frustration. However, if you are the graduates we believe you to be, you will say, wait a minute, we already did this in school. The laughter, the hard work, the frustration, and I am prepared for what this world has in store for me. So, be prepared for the we part of your next chapter because you'll always benefit from allowing yourself to laugh with others, to work hard with others, and this is the fun part, to be frustrated equally with others. We want you to know that the world has never seen what you can do. Make the life you want because you can. Be genuine, be kind, be assertive in your willingness to be successful, and above all, never let this world tell you you can't do something. Congratulations. If, uh, at this time, could I have the first row of graduates please rise and come up to the stage? Nice job, Ken. Okay. Nashley Acevedo. Branson Aruda. <laughs> Joe Randy Paradis Acevedo. Lamaya Boria. Yeah. Regine Butler. Naziah Davis. Here's your card. Here's your card. I didn't get one. How do I say your last name? Just say Mark to Jesus Gonzalez. Mark to Jesus Gonzalez. Jayla Fulton. Do you want? Do you want <laughs> Janali Gonzalez Santiago. Henry Jones. Yeah. 
Isaiah Laramore. Kira Lopes. All right, this is good. Um, at this time, would the second row please stand and address the stage? Alexander Lopez. Amy Nunez. <laughs> Amaya Elise Oquendo. Anais Maria Palacio. Adriana Ramos. Angelis Marie Rosario. How are you, honey? Jacory Ross. Kaden Schmidt. <laughs> Sandra Strove. I said it wrong. I, I said it wrong. Bring it in, girl. Bring it in. Gina Tibetot. Yay. Give me a hug. I love you. Divinity Erica Love too. Anaya Marie Wild. <laughs> now can I go woo woo? <laughs>
So at this time, if I can ask our graduates to stand up. Please take your tassel and move it from the right to the left. And welcome graduating class of 2024. Nice job. That concludes our graduation ceremony. Um, class of 2024, you're going to stand up. And look for your hat now. Look for your mortarboard. Okay. Your diplomas will be in in the. Um, did we say they were gonna? They are gonna be in the back. Okay. Congratulations. If we could have a recessional out.